Hello uh, everyone, uh, this is Jay Rodman. I'm returning to Bard's Tale for part 14. These numbers go up quickly. Um, this is, I hope, going to be kind of a short one. Uh, my goal is to um, explore a little bit of, uh, maybe complete the first level of Unterbrae, but mostly to gain some experience. That said, I'm going to turn on my spells. Uh, wrong caster. And head in there. I haven't saved my game for a while, so actually I think that's the first thing I want to do. Save. I'm going to have to swap back to my character disc. There we go. Uh, there we go. Okay, um, so the route I'm going to take through this dungeon is going to be basically to go trap zap this, or wait, no, not trap zap that, um, go in here somehow, maybe one way or other one here, trap zap this, cut through these silences, recast my bard song, although first I'll go in here, and then continue exploring. And the reason for that is because this way has a spinner, and this way has a spinner, and spinners are freaking irritating because you can get stuck in them for an arbitrary length of time, trying to get where you want to go. way and I'm about here. Gore suckers are dangerous but two of them are less dangerous. So we're gonna give it a good attempt at just kicking their butts. Forty one damage. Wow. Forty one damage to someone who only has seventy eight hit points. Maybe I should avoid the gore sucker for now. Okay, I'm gonna do a bunch of boring bard healing. I am definitely looking forward to this being less necessary. I'm not going to stop having the bard contribute to healing. Um, she will be contributing to healing throughout the game, but this stopping and 
not doing anything but bard healing for significant periods should go mostly away. Wing slashers and zombies. The zombies are the non-threatening ones here. Still gonna fire horn them for time efficient experience point efficiency. Oh, I guess they're more threatening than I thought. I'm getting hit a fair bit. It's probably partly because I let my... Oh, and they wither. Okay, well, that's a bummer. I let my um, Mystic Shield fall off. Of course, it falls off really fast. And I don't I think I don't have any spells to cure old. Pretty sure I don't. Now two of us are withered. You know, I bet Amiga version they just didn't implement the withering. So many things didn't work right in that game. Well, at 3,000 experience, I'm definitely over the target I need to level up. Okay, so Elendor has a giant to drop. Grisnak probably found a gem. Eleanor, Elendor. This would summon... Wait, I thought you were the one... Oh, I pressed uh, off by one. Okay, so I have an item sitting on my rogue, I thought, that I accidentally looked at my rogue's inventory. Okay, who knows? I probably pressed an F key. On this touch bar, F keys are so easy to hit by accident, and it's super irritating. Identify. Yep, a harmonic gem. Okay, hand over to a caster. Moving on. Uh, turn on Mystic Shield. Turn on the Bard Song. Oh, we have silence here. Um, where are those abstract symbols? Triangle. I couldn't find anything in the list of stuff that felt right for silence. Okay, nothing in here. Ambushed by a phantom champ. Uh, shoot some of these mithril arrows that I don't use.
A mithril dagger, that seems useless. I think theoretically it's an okay weapon for our rogue, which he has a shadow shiv. And it's pretty dumb for wizards. They're much better off with like a shield staff or other better things later. I guess I'm not going to pretend like I don't know how the equipment works because figuring out the equipment isn't that interesting. You try it a lot. Uh, disarm, five poison blades. I've disarmed a chest for once. It's like a first time. Oh, I managed to make my elbow go to sleep. This is very awkward. Okay, um, going to this tiny room. Nothing exciting happening in there. No clues, no draining health. Okay, back out again. Mm, demon signs are bad. But not that bad. That's my memory. Oh, the acid drillers can poison. So, is Lady Oakenshield poisoned or old? Turns out she's both, but it only shows you one. You only have one bad thing showing. It tends to show you dead if you're dead. Although I think stoned maybe takes priority. I don't know. can make her old again. Nothing cute, like, uh, I think Ultima 4, you, you only had one bad status, so if you had, like, a bad status that was hard to get rid of, it was convenient to poison yourself and then cure the poison. No such luck here. Incidentally, old is, um, I don't think that big a deal. It's not good, but, um, It lowers uh, your stats, but having your stats, like your stats basically help you if they're kind of above 14, and if they're like down at one, they don't particularly hurt you. I didn't understand this for a long time. I was like, I don't know why it doesn't work. Eventually I looked, I found out enough about how the stats work, and it's basically, you know, if you have a great dexterity, your armor class is improved. And if you have a completely abysmal dexterity, your armor class isn't improved. So it does hurt you, but not that much. Not nearly as much as it would make you think if you look at the... So I'll show you. Um, Lady Oak Shield. Load her upper character. And look, her, see the one, 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 one. It looks really, really bad. But it turns out, it's only kind of bad. Oh, and I got the crap door again. Um, no, no. Yep. Okay. This is going to be a spinner. It is not. It is simply a room with four doors. legend onto this map, by the way. Um, not expecting to forget, but 
Uh, what if I put the game down for a bit? Also, it makes the maps I generate from it much, much more useful. Sort of the main reason. I would like you to die, Master Demon. That would be great. I wonder if I have an anti-demon spell. I think I don't at this point. Poison Needle. Poison Needle. Okay. Put in Disarm. My thief spells are probably like n percentage better, like two percentage points better than the last time I looked because we leveled up. Wait. Oh, I thought we were in the little room already. I wondered where that northern door went to. Uh, north and then turn east. So I just did that. I'll try Spectre Touch on the demon, but I s expect that demons are like, I don't know, they might be like negative life energy. I like that. That is not a good number set. Yeah, I think I just died again. Yep. Dead. Okay. Run away. Run away. And I have no bards who uh, use the running away all the time song, which is pretty nice for the GTFO moments. Okay, um, this is awkward. I want to go back the long way so I don't hit a spinner and get confused and blinded and etc. Uh, where the heck am I? Oh. So I want to go towards the door that's went away because that's north. There. And then I can go west and south. I'm in another spinner. This time I want this, which is the west direction. Spinners aren't that bad if you can see... Um... If you can if, if you can differentiate between the directions on the visual look there's a trap in front of me oh my sh my character is all shifted because my bar died and slid to the end of the party you're not allowed to put corpses well I guess maybe you can put corpses up in the front of your party but by the second round of combat they all slide back to the back to make sure that your other characters get a chance to get hit and die, I think is the reason for that. Okay. Character disc. Okay, time to go back to the temple. I wonder what the temple does with all of the money we give them because I mean I guess they use it to somehow bribe their gods but um, if we assume for a moment that they just want us to give them money to provide services and those services cost them a small fraction of that money like software vendors then I'm paying them so much money. So, and there's another 9,900. And after that, 
she's still old. It's another 3,300. And then... I don't know why I keep leaving instead of healing another person. And then another 3,300 for Lady Oak Shield. So, not sure of the exact amount, but well, close to 1,700. I guess I do. Oh, it's 16 set. Wait. No, it's 1650, right? Yeah. And I gave them another 10,000 some odd yesterday. Or last game session. I do like that I end up drinking booze in combat. It feels right. Okay. No. Don't want to continue. Uh, new order one, two, three, seven, four, five. Well, you don't have to press six. Okay, so um, I should now have enough experience to hit level eleven on my remaining party members. I don't want to bother to fight Black Hobbits. Oh, you're going to make me fight Black Hobbits? Okay, fine. Do Black Hobbits like Firehorns? I think we should... I, th I should, like, let one go and say, tell your friends. Anyone who messes with us gets the fire horn. This war axe is definitely not useful anymore. Okay. Into town. It sure would be cool if I could have the maps of where I'm going always updated, but I don't have anyone to do that except for manually updating the maps every time I take a step. So like basically recording another video to match my video step for step, I'm not doing it. So the th a luck for the, my monk hop blossom. Okay, Elena's already leveled up, so now we have Elendor. Constitution, that's, that's good. Prefer intellect, but the constitution is good. And Griselda. Strength. Bad. Bad and pointless. Okay, spell acquiring for Griselda. We will pay the 10,000. I guess the old man, what does he do with the money too? And um, Elendor will pay this 10,000. Well, no, Griselda will pay for her because she has all the money. Okay, so what are the new spells I got? <clears throat> all the way at the bottom. Okay, so first of all, I got Phase Door, PhDO, Phase Door. That if you're facing a wall and you cast this, 
the wall might open, like disappear, and allow you to step through. It reappears later. I think after you step through immediately, actually. Um, so, for example, on our on the map, there's this area. We saw there were walls all around it. How do you get in? Well, maybe we can phase door in. That's an example. Um, realistically, I'm really excited about phase door because there are some traps in this dungeon. Well, I'm giving things away. Sometimes there's you can find secrets with them. Sometimes they're how you get out of being stuck. Uh, we also have Yabara's Mystical Coat of Armor. Yabara is named for a guy, Joe Yabara, who was the producer of this game from Electronic Arts, back before Electronic Arts became a company no one wanted to work with anymore, <laughs> except everyone works for Electronic Arts. Anyway, um, it's basically a, per per a bleh, permanent uh, Mystic Shield. So it's I won't have to recast it all the time. And so it's basically going to just save me a bunch of spell points and grief. Uh, unless I hit any magic zones and it gets turned off. Uh, I went past the list of spells because I'm a Dumbo. So for my Conjurer spells from Elendor, we have... What are our new ones? Uh, Flan, which is the Flesh Anew. We had Flesh Restore already, which cured insanity, poison, a bunch of spell, a bunch of hit points. This casts out on everyone in the party at once. So if I need to have everyone increase their spell points a bit, or hit points a bit, I can cast this and everyone will be healed somewhat. Also, Major Levitation, which is a levitation that does runs forever. I might bother casting it now that it runs forever. Before, it didn't seem worth it because levitation was short and it just protects you somewhat from traps. Not guaranteed. Um, okay, so... I think I will try to complete the map. And I'm not going to bother replenishing my spell points to the sunlight beyond what's already happening. And it's not sunlight right now. I just it just became dark. Yeah, dusk. So YMCA. Oh, there's a quote there. YMCA. And male, which is odd because none of my characters are male. Uh, GRE, Greater Revelation, and those are our buff spells. You guys, did you not see what happened to the other ones? All of you can die now. They don't give a trivial amount of experience points, I guess. That's one thing about this game is the wimpiest starter monsters give you reasonable experience. Uh, chaos. Momentarily, I forgot what I was supposed to say there. Loading in fast forward. I guess realistically, right now, I'm doing something a little crazy. I'm encoding the last session to mp4 while playing this session so it actually can only go to about two times speed because the cpu is being fought over uh demon science there's only two i'm gonna fight them One's down, and without taking a massive hit to our hit points. Okay, that was not bad at all. Going to this map. Uh, I'm going to try to move... 
Oh, I'm in the keyboard mode. I'm trying to track roughly where we are. Okay, so what are my new spells again? Um, Flesh and New. Uh, YMCA, which I already used. Major Levitation, which I already used. Okay, so mostly there's, I don't have to actually, there's nothing, there's nothing new for me to remember to do in an ad hoc manner. It's like mostly set up stuff. Phase door. Okay, that's a new trick. I don't want to fight that. Okay, I guess I don't get a choice. Use that fire horn on the gore suckers. Hide. Cast. Star Flare? No, you have Shock Sphere on the Gore Seekers, and you will cast Star Flare on the Gore Seekers. So they advanced, and y it's sort of weird. Like, if they advance, they mostly don't get to do anything else, but they do, a, like, some of them will take action anyway. It feels like they cheat. If we advance, we don't get to do anything. So we weakened the gore suckers, but um, didn't kill any. Uh, Elena will try to backstab them. Um, sure, more shock sphering them, and more. This time, dragon breath because they're closer and it does more damage. They resist spells pretty well. Maybe I shouldn't be using all these spells on them. Oh, uh, no, they're not quite out, but almost. time it's taking me extra to think about updating the view on the map. It takes some. I'm fighting the Phantom Champ because he's easy and I'm still I'm st I still have lot there's still got to be lots of upgrades to get in the new dungeon segment. Although technically the way that equipment drops work are it's not necessarily by world. It can be sort of arbitrarily like this level like uh, levels 1 through 3 of a particular dungeon may drop the first chunk of uh, equipment. And then the fourth level in the same dungeon may be the next chunk, which may continue through multiple dungeons. It's a little arbitrary. As you go deeper, you make better stuff, but it doesn't necessarily correlate with next dungeon.
Although that's, I guess, more the earlier games. In this game, I think it may correlate with world. Oh, spoilers. Okay, um... I don't want to deal with this room yet, because it's going to take away our remaining spell points. So I'd rather go try to explore this over here. I'm waiting for the spinner to turn me north. None of these are north. That's east. That's north. So what I could see there was a set of walls like this. From one hundred a fast to two. back down to one. segments, a far wall, I'm pretty sure that's what I see. Uh, Zephyr mages are going to summon um, illusions. I wish I had really good resistance, then the illusions would kill themselves and I would get lots of experience. Uh, they also have mean spells. I'm going to choose to run. Okay, now we have another note. of melancholy paves the way. So, I don't know if you've noticed, but there's a definite theme to the messages that we're getting. They're all talking about kind of like something that lets you progress and all describing it in a certain way. We got, um, this, how do I, how do I, uh, oh, I gotta get out of this mode, I think. How is it, how is it, how do you normally, okay, whatever. This one says, Shade of Wind's Home will make you free. At this point, shade sounds like color, now that we have a splash of the noble's blood colors the exit and a tint of melancholy paves the way. So it sure sounds like we're talking about a color, melancholy, wind's home could be the sky, and um, a noble's blood. So I'm pretty sure it's blue at this point. It's like what we're supposed to figure out. It's like, it's a puzzle, the answer is blue. Anyway, uh, we're in a different room with a very different kind of note. This is a flavor text note, tact, well, maybe not flavor text, but whatever. It doesn't feel like a puzzle to me. Tacked on the door in the east wall, you see the fall. See the 
following message. Those who enter this door... Oh, I pressed enter. Um, and I typoed and everything. Enter this door... And uh, then backslash... Uh, never leave through it. I can play the other games. My immediate expectation is it's a one-way door. Because that's a thing. They do that. But we have phase door. So I'm unfazed because of phase door. Uh, let's turn the compass back on. And I want to... So why didn't I get to move? Okay, so... Uh... I moved in here, and I saw there was a wall, and you saw that, like, four lines covering the screen and then uncovering? I'm pretty sure that's the teleport action. And sure enough, we got teleported. Um, this is the teleport in, and this is the teleport out. So it's if you step here, you get sent here. So, can we get out? I think our spell points are being drained. Cast seven, phase door. No? I don't really need to fight things when I'm inside here. So I don't think I'm even going to find out whether that's a one-way door. Because it... I mean, how do I turn around before I get teleported? Okay, so, uh, I'm now in the dark. Okay, so, the north wall was passable. So it's some sort of one-way passage. Edge. That's, an, that's enough for the moment. Uh, well, maybe not. Maybe it's... Um, maybe it's time to use my gems and then explore this. I think I'm right here. Focus was not in the right window, or keyboard mode, or whatever. I think I'm right here. Yep. Uh, one of these spots was anti-magic. I don't know if it was... I th this one or this one? I'm pretty sure it was this one because I saw all but my light go out here. So they turn off all your spells and then teleport you to a room that drains your health. Let's. Um, Mystic Shield. Okay, uh, I think it, the, the square to the south will drain my spell points. Well, 
I don't know, because they're having a fight instead. I'll try to remember to watch. They are kind of not going down. Okay, 51 damage is a help. Okay. This 87 spell points. Does it go down? 72 does because I cast Trap Zap. No. So we only have Spell Drain on three sides. I have no idea why. It feels incomplete. single zombie and assume that we can kill it without getting withered. Yep. Oh, I need to refinish, refill my hit points. Okay, maybe that's enough refilling for now. First death hound we kill because I think the only other fight with them we got all wrecked. Yeah, I didn't think they were that hard, but I mean, maybe the real issue was um, they were gore suckers that were screwing us up, and the death hounds were just a little bit on top. we have not been in. And it's a 
Hit point drain room. Uh, no, we don't. We don't need a. We don't need a weird one-way door. We need a normal door. And more, more hit point draining. That spot didn't drain our hit points. There is that. That's good. Zephyr mages. Uh. Uh. Sh I'll try it. Probably should have cast some spells. But they had they advanced. That's very that's very kind of them. I think it's gonna be a slaughter. Oh, no, not quite. They they're fighting back. I was hoping they would just quietly die. You know, just just fall over, hand over their treasure. I'm really, I'm really wondering where the items are. Oh, there's an item to drop. Could our inventories be full? Could that be why I don't get anything good out of these fights? No. My inventories are nowhere near full. Okay. North. And... Whoop. Three putrid zombies and a fast master. I'm going to attack the zombies because... I don't want to get withered. I accidentally pressed escape on the silly touch bar. Froze the game. I had no idea what was going on. You, you, your fingers just barely brush it, and that means you've pressed escape. Thank you. Thank you. Uh... I'm going to specter touch... Are in the fast master. Okay, so he took a hit from a zombie without being withered. Yeah, thanks. Thanks, Camtasia. I really needed you to interrupt Camtasia. I who? who <laughs> I don't know who programmed that. It's like uh. If we're recording a video and we are finishing coding a video, let's interrupt the video. Turn north to see what the wall looked like. Back to the west. Oh, hit point drain. passage with four chunks of hit point drain. It's a little c obnoxious.
another fight. Uh, not a nasty one, probably. Unless the death hounds make life difficult. But given that I'm done mapping this level of the dungeon, I am going to lay into them. Can Starflower reach that far? I think it cannot, but they are likely to come closer. Oh, uh, Shock Sphere. Starflare can't. Oh, sorry, they're 30 feet. Starflare can reach that far. So the, d the zombie's down. The Death Hounds just summoned a bunch more of their friends. But most of them are dead now. I think it's safety song that says you can't summon anymore. So they summoned a lot of their friends, and all of their friends were hitting me for 10 damage each with their breath weapons. That could have gotten bad fast, but uh, they were too far away and their breath weapons weren't working, which is very convenient. Shield ring. Okay, who does not have a shield ring? Grisnak has a shield ring. Oak Shield has a shield ring. Hop Blossom does not have a shield ring because of the ungodly armor class. Chantrell has a shield ring. Elena already has a shield ring. And an item 5. I don't know what that is. Okay, so I guess I'm handing this off to my monk, who's going to continue to have a dumbly, stupidly good armor class. I may start to, like unequipping items that only give her one bonus. Item, or identify, and fails. Okay, but and you can't use it. Uh, is it a... Is it an instrument? Can my bard use it? Nope. Is it for paladins? No. I think it's... How about for mages? Yes. So, let's try it. Use... Uh, <laughs> it didn't tell me anything. Okay, great. Okay. They probably cast one of the buff spells I already have up. Okay, uh, I'm gonna start... I don't need to carry a... A canteen of water around. I don't need to carry a weapon I'm not using around. Okay, that's enough inventory for now. Minus 18 armor class. Okay. Kick through the store. A few interesting things here. Obviously, there's this prompt. Um, there's also the fact that this wall, you can see through it. That we, we saw that there was a wall here, and now we don't see it from the side. That means it's a one-way wall. Um, where's that? This one. There. Um, I kind of want there to be an icon that means magic mouth. That's not just there's a message. But 
haven't got any options that jump out at me. I may just use Pentagram for a Magic Mouth because they creep me the heck out. Okay, uh, a note. A Magic Mouth appears and says, Speak the rhyming word to pass through. I'm going to try blue because we already decided on that or I should have done that. I already decided on that. The first time I got to this puzzle I didn't know what they were talking about and it said speak the rhyming word to pass through so I just typed blue to see I may have tried through or something. No, not through because through is the word. I think I was like through uh, blue, boo how about blue? And I got it right and I didn't know why I was right. Uh, and then it goes away. I don't know what even happens if you get it wrong, but if we step forward, it says, now there's stairs. So that is a way to get to the stairs. It, I'm pretty sure there's also a way, which is walk up and cast phase door and go in the wall. I think that works too. I'm going to say no, and leave the dungeon actually because we just finished mapping this level my face door to skip a bunch of spinners. So there wasn't an opening, now there is an opening. That is phase door. However, seems like it'd be really useful to just go where you want, but when later they'll be whatever. They they definitely arrange so that when they want you to do a particular thing through a puzzle, phase door isn't allowed. It's uh the way it is. I think in the manual it tells you something about, you know, phase or won't work everywhere. But I'm not going to go find that. Let's see how far we have to go. I think quite a ways. Uh, only five thousand, actually. On the there's two there's two tiers there's two tracks, and one track is at five thousand more, which is fighter, paladin, monk. Oh no, it's going to be Fighter, Paladin, Bard, Rogue are on the fast track. Whereas, um, Monk, Conjurer, Magician are on the slow track. You need 25,000 more. Um, not that important anyway, because level 12 isn't that big a deal. Well, I think 12 would be a big deal for my fighters. I think they'll be get their next attack. Whereas for my casters, they need to get to 13 
and get their highest tier of spells for their current classes. Okay, uh, I'm ending this here. I'm gonna park my party outside and when I come back to them, they'll have full spell points and we'll try on uh, Underbraid 2.